Hey guys, it's me Skelly here. Today I'll be doing a tutorial showing you how to make a realistic VHS kind of look in Shotcut. So this will have nearly all the same looks as an old VHS cassette. So we'll have a bit of color bleed on the edge and uh, lines going across interference. And also the saturation will be a bit down. It'll be a bit dull, just like usual old VHS cassettes. So let's get started. So first off, what you want to do, go here to these three lines, click it, add video track twice. Make two new video tracks like that. And now I have a video here, as you can see. We're gonna, just going to be using this video. Drag it here to where it says new projects, recent projects, or if it's just a blank space here, drag it here. Let's just this is the preview place. Jump in. So once it's in there, click and drag it to the bottom track. Place. Like so. Now, what you want to do is you want to copy and paste it also to the top track. So press, con make sure you've clicked on this uh, <clears throat> video here on the bottom track. Press Ctrl plus C and then click on the top track. So here where it says V2, then go Ctrl V and it'll paste it. So what you want to do now on the bottom track, go to filters plus press the video icon here and then find saturation. There it is. Now you want to put this all the way to the bottom. It, it is working, just on the top layer, make sure you press this hide button here. There you go. So now, as you can see here, saturation is working. Put it all the way to the bottom. So make sure this is hidden, the top layer is hidden by pressing this little I button on the top layer. Okay, now we've done saturation, press plus. And then you have to find glitch so here it is glitch now for this epilepsy warning just it does that but what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the block height all the way down put the frequency down put the color intensity down as well you can put up the shift intensity if you want you don't exactly have to if you don't wanna it's just as you can Jump see, we have a bit of kind of interference look claim, but this is 0 0.5. Let's see how that looks. Let's just... Not enough, let's just put 1. Is that good? Let's see. Let's just... Jump yep. into it, guys. That's pretty My okay. Okay. Now we have done everything we have to on the bottom layer. Let's move to the top layer and do what we have to on the top layer. So, now we're working on the top layer. Make sure you unhide the the layer so press this little kind of closed eye icon here to show it and you should see the top layer so make sure you've selected the top layer click on the video press plus now we have to find opacity in the video tab let's find opacity here it is put opacity down to maybe 30 percent okay now we have to find blur so let's see where is it blur put up the blur effect not too much let's see put the blur effect up a bit okay that's pretty good now we have to add saturation so put this all the way up well not all the way up but high enough Okay, now that's done. We're nearly finished. Press the plus button again to add another filter and find rotate and scale. Where is it? Rotate and scale, here it is. So now on the X offset, move it a bit to the side, not too much, just barely enough. Let's put about maybe five. That looks okay. So now, as you can see here, we have kind of characteristic VHS look with the color kind of bleeding off his shirt a bit. So now you can adjust the blur effect to change how sharp this bleed effect is. So 
don't have to have it all the way up i'll just have it maybe i don't know five pixels so five pixels below so as you can see not only do we have the interference we also have a dull look and we also have the colors bleeding like if you have a look here you can see it's kind of bleeding off a bit you can also mess around with opacity but i recommend leaving this setting alone that's pretty good so yeah another thing you can do if you want on the bottom layer or even on the top layer it doesn't really matter there's another filter you can add called rgb shift where is it here it is you can add this make sure the verticals on 50 percent then let's put this maybe 55 maybe 51 don't have to put all that much <clears throat> sorry 52 let's try that and all it does basically you can see here it just kind of shifts the rgb a bit don't really need it though just kind of an additional thing but you don't exactly need it so um yeah that's basically it that's how you make a kind of vintage vhs look and shortcut so now we'll export it and see how it looks okay so it's finished exporting and this is what the video looks like now as you can see we have the color separation the color bleed so if you look on pewdiepie's shirt you can see the color bleed also on the TV and on the dolls there. Secondly, we also have the interference, the, so those lines going across, those scratches. And thirdly, it's also very dull, so that's another characteristic of um, an old aged VHS tape. So uh, yeah, if you enjoyed this tutorial, please be sure to leave a like, subscribe, and share with anyone who needs it. And thanks for watching, and bye.